proposal is at the level of submitting a winning proposal, it is a sale document, it is the technical document, and it is a legal document at the same time. So proposals define a problem and sell your ability to solve it. This means that your proposal will include three different phases, and the important, it's important to identify that the aim of this proposal is to solve the problem and show the return on investment on the company itself. So the proposal should at least include these following important things. First, the cover letter. Second, a title page. Then table of content. Then executive summary. And the fifth stage is our understanding of the customer requirements. And this is to illustrate the problem. What is the problem that you have and how we will solve it later on. Six, offered solution and its proposed, improve, proposed improvements. Our solution and how it will improve uh, their production or their sales, etc. Implementation approach and time plan how we will implement the service, and what's the time plan, what's the time frame that we will implement this service. And our unique benefits. Maybe, uh, as we said before, the same product that we are providing, we have many competitors that they are providing the same service for the same product. So it's very important to show at this stage the unique benefits that we have against others. Nine, financial investment and return on investment. Don't mention the price. Don't say it is a price or it is a cost. It is a return on investment because when you are purchasing our product or our services, okay, you are doing an investment in your organization or in your company. Conclusion and next steps. What do you want the client to do as a next step? to sign the contract, to uh, put a time frame, to pay money, etc. Also, you can add the product information, references if you have, about your company is very important, and what are the clients that you already work with, and the projects that you uh, already uh, established. CVs of people involved in this, and their, their uh, certifications or their background, uh, their experience, suggested project plans, and contracts. So financial investment and return on investment. It is very important. This is the second most important section. Never call this section it's a price or a cost, as we said. Discounts should be given in a bulk and not itemized. Never give different discounts and different numbers. It's important even if we have different sections within the, the contract or within the, the offer and we have different prices, always, always include the discount at the end, a one discount on the whole price. So include your payment terms and conditions. Uh, what's the first uh, per, per, uh, the payment? When is the second payment, etc. Be clear, don't show or try to, don't hide, sorry, or try to hide some things. Be in a table format. Put them in a table format so that accountants, when they see them, they they are simple to uh, know uh, all these numbers. Include any assumptions that you have made on behalf of the client and include all financial issues. Don't forget to fill anything. So never use pricing or cost. Always use financial investment and never use cost or price because uh, human beings don't like these words. Um, keep trying to demonstrate the return on, on investment and don't assume limitations. At the same time, respect the requirements, but give them further creative options. Be as creative as you can on the pricing and don't give itemized discounts, as we said, give a bulk discounts. Keep room for further dis discounts. Very important at the last stage to have a margin, let's say 5% or 3%, that don't give the whole uh, discount from the beginning. Just keep as a 3% in addition that you can 
give uh, uh, this discount when you are closing the deal. In case you need to, to make uh, uh, another discount, you can do it at that stage. 